I'm Nintendo. And I'm Sega. This is Console Wars! Ladies and gentlemen, I've gathered you here to arrange to capture the most dangerous men in America. Console Wars. Are you serious? The YouTube guys? You know I'm serious. I wouldn't be in the FBI. Unlike my twin brother, who's an actor. He has a pretty good podcast. What did Console Wars do? Console Wars has committed numerous crimes. They're wanted for multiple counts of assault. This is Console Wars. Would I be able to do this? They're witnesses to several murders and quite a few attempts. You should stop him. No, I'm good. You, you can stop him. Power wave! <laughs> Screw this game! I quit! What are you gonna do? Throw that bird seed at me? I can't believe we just watched Zul Streak up murder his roommate. Let's whip him out and compare them. I think it'd be really fun. And they themselves have committed multiple murders and attempts. Maybe we can kind of look like that movie Shaun of the Dead. How the one guy. I could do this for hours. Got him again. I'll be as good a new one. Five minutes. Ah! Seriously? Again? Cool. Then let's hang out. Oh, yeah. Here, at least drink something. <laughs> I said I'm fine. Oh no, dying, dying, dead. Somebody dial that one one. We bring them in alive? Or dead. Uh oh, I better warn the guys. Gotta warn him, 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 gotta warn him. I gotta tell you, you were right about the hat. Hey guys, I ran here as fast as I could. What's up, Astrami? Well, you see, it's, uh, I came here so fast because, uh, uh oh. I completely forgot. Oh no, that pipe I hit must have given me some amnesia. Amnesia, you say? You know what that reminds me of? Whew, I don't know, there's a, so many instances of amnesia in pop culture. Is it the video game Flashback? Yeah, great game. Played it all the time. You know, for the Sega Genesis. Yeah, but it was definitely better for the Super Nintendo. What? That's it! Are we doing this? In the 1960s, did Heineken craft their beer bottles so that they could double as bricks for buildings, providing inexpensive building materials and limiting the amount of waste in the world due to beer bottles? Yes. Best Flashback. Flashback, or Flashback Quest for Identity in the US, was initially released for the Amiga in 1992. There were many ports for the MS-DOS, Sega CD, 3DO, CDI, Acorn Archimedes, FM Towns, and Atari Jaguar. In 2018, an updated port was released for the Switch, PS4, and Windows. Earlier in 2013, there was a remake developed by Vector Cell for Xbox 360, PS3, and Windows. Today we're focusing on the Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis games released in 1993. 
These versions were developed by Delphine Software International and published by US Gold. Both games are incredibly similar, but there are some differences. Which one's better? Let's find out. These games look the same, practically identical. Both games have the same overall look. Let's start with the characters. They're all very simple in design. The main character doesn't even have facial features such as eyes, nose, or mouth. But what the game lacks in detail, it more than makes up with the animations. These games are some of the most fluid animations in 16 bits. This is due to the fact that all the animations are rotoscoped. Characters and their fluid animations look the same in both games. The levels all look the same too. The backgrounds were all fully hand drawn. The background is always locked in place too. The screen never scrolls. The levels are Planet Titan, New Washington, The Tower, Earth, Secret Base of Paradise, and Planet of the Morphs. They all look the same in both games. Both games are also loaded with cutscenes. They look like early 3D without actually being 3D, but they do have lots of motion and look very cinematic. Definitely one of the highlights of the games, and they're the same in both versions. Very similar looking games, but I but think mine looks better. Enemies look the same for the most part, except for some palette swaps. However, Super Nintendo does have some more detail. This enemy on a rocket has a helmet on Super Nintendo. Doesn't have one on Sega. And these enemies on Super Nintendo not only have helmets, but cool gloves too. They don't have either of those things on Sega. Helmets and gloves is nothing compared to the error that your game makes. Let's talk about the main character. Main character Conrad looks the same in both games, except for his shirt. On Super Nintendo it's red, while on Sega it's white. So which one's right? Well, if you check out the cutscenes in both games, you see that Conrad has a white shirt. Sega game looks more accurate. Okay, sure being a different color isn't as big a deal as helmets and gloves. Fine, let's talk about the cutscenes again. Usually we don't compare cutscenes in the graphics department, but since they move, we gotta compare the frame rate. When it comes to frame rate, it's much smoother on Sega. And it's not just one or two cutscenes. Every single cutscene is significantly slower on Super Nintendo. Must be that lack of blast processing. And in the game full of cinematics, where they're one of the highlights of the game, that faster frame rate on Sega definitely helps to keep things moving. They're almost graphically identical, but the Sega game definitely has an itch. For having an accurate looking main character, but for having a much faster frame rate for all the cutscenes, best graphics go to Sega Genesis. Just like graphics, presentation is very similar. Like we said before, both games are loaded with cinematic cutscenes. You of course have your intro, and your ending. There are also cutscenes for important events. And it goes beyond events. This game gives you a cutscene any chance it can. You get one for using certain items. You also get a small something every time you get an item. These games put a strong emphasis on the cinematics, and other than the frame rate, they look the same. The rest of the presentation is the same too. Title screen, credits, even the HUDs. All you see is the item you have equipped. No life bar because it's one of your items. You need to go to your items menu to see it. Well, we're not really going to be able to argue here. Presentation's pretty much identical. Not exactly. Let's go back to those cutscenes. Last time, I promise. Not only is the Sega frame rate faster, which I already talked about, but the Sega game also has better placement of text. It's mostly below the cutscene in the unused space. On Super Nintendo, they put all the text right on the cutscene. Makes it harder to read and blocks all the pretty pictures. Sega has better placement of text. Well, most of the time. That barely makes your presentation better, and it's not even all the time. Okay then, well how's about the fact that your game is censored? On Sega, the game show is called Death Tower. Okay, cool. Nintendo going the safe censored route again called it Cyber Tower. Not as cool. Back to the Sega game. It has a bar. My kind of game. Beat it, son, you're too young to drink. Anyways, on Super Nintendo, it's a cafe. Beat it, son. So the reason you're not getting served isn't because you're too young for alcohol, it's because the guy working there is just a jerk. On Sega, Philip Howard Clark's diary ends with, This is my final message. May heaven help me. On Super Nintendo, it just says, This is my final message. 
avoiding any reference to religion. Death, bar, and heaven. Not in the Super Nintendo version. They're almost identical, but the Sega game does have a slight edge again. For having better placement of text and not giving in to censorship, best presentation goes to Sega Genesis. <laughs> These games are interesting when it comes to music. Both games have music, but a majority of the gameplay is without it. You mostly have sound effects and ambiance, but no music. Sometimes music starts suddenly, but it never lasts longer than a few seconds. Whether you love it or hate it, it sets the game apart from typical platformers. The music for both games was composed by Jean Baudelot and Fabrice Vissero. But Super Nintendo also credits John Hancock, and the games have a lot of the same songs. That definitely sounds better on Sega. Ah, uh, then you definitely need to get your ears checked. Besides, I have music you don't. The Super Nintendo has this track, mainly used at the train station. The Sega game doesn't have this track. It actually has no music at the train station at all. Okay, so the Sega game's missing one track, but that's nothing compared to what the Super Nintendo's missing. The Sega game has many songs not in the Super Nintendo version. There's a song for winning Death Tower. Super Nintendo just reuses this song. Sega has this song for the Hollow Cube. Super Nintendo just uses this song again. And it happens quite often. My favorite is this sweet song for the anti-G jump. Super Nintendo just reuses this song. Super Nintendo soundtrack is definitely not as complete as Sega's. And not for nothing, but your game's also missing sound effects. Both games give you a little music when you use or find an item. But certain items on Sega sound a little bit different. Here's refilling your shield on Sega. Now on Super Nintendo. That sounds familiar. Here's activating a bridge on Sega. And now here's Super Nintendo. Again, more of the same. And even though the Sega game doesn't have music for the train, you do hear it moving. There's no sound effect on Super Nintendo. Now, here's a mine on Sega. Pretty noisy. And now on Super Nintendo. Nothing. Here's an administrator typing on Sega. And on Super Nintendo, silence. The Sega game definitely wins sound. For having more songs and more sound effects, best sound goes to Sega Genesis. Gameplay is practically identical. Both games are cinematic platformers with an emphasis on exploration and puzzle solving. The game plays very differently from a typical platformer. It plays more like Prince of Persia. You have one button known as the action button, one for using items, and one button to draw or put away your gun, and pressing up on the D-pad lets you jump straight up. 
The action button is how you do most things, mostly in combination with the D-pad. You can run, small jump, large jump, ascend, descend, roll, activate lifts, pick up objects, and fire your gun. If you're too close to an enemy, don't worry, you can just pistol whip them. Wow. Sometimes the action button changes based on what you're around, indicated by an icon. There is definitely a learning curve here getting familiar with all the different commands. The object of the game is really just to figure out how to get to the next area. There are different types of enemies along the way, and there's really only one boss fight, the final boss. The emphasis is really on the puzzle solving. Leave no stone unturned in this game. You might get stuck in one area, but just keep trying everything and you'll eventually figure it out. Luckily, once an enemy is dead, they stay dead. No respawning. Makes exploration and puzzle solving much easier. Like we said before, there's no life bar. Instead, you have your shield. It tells you how many hits you can take in the menu. If you do take damage, you can fill up the shield at an energy generator. There's lots of these spread throughout the game, and they have unlimited use. Both games have these save stations all around too. They don't really save your game, instead they're really just checkpoints. The game has no saving, but it does have passwords. You will die a lot playing this game. Enemies can be difficult, and the environment isn't exactly friendly. And sometimes you'll just die by accident. Have patience though, dying is all part of the puzzle solving. You'll need to learn patterns, learn different techniques for defeating different enemies. If you stick with it, you'll eventually get through it. Everything's so similar. I know one thing that's not, saving. Super Nintendo definitely has you beat in one area, saving. On Super Nintendo, saving is instantaneous. Saving on Sega takes some time. You waste much less time saving on Super Nintendo. You want to talk about wasting time? Let's talk about your game. Specifically, the slowdown. The Super Nintendo game is plagued with slowdown. Not only are the cutscenes much slower, but so is the actual gameplay. And it's not a rare occurrence. Slowdown happens a lot in the Super Nintendo game. Fighting enemies? Slow down. Running away from enemies? Slow down. Just running with not much going on in the background? Slow down. It's ridiculous how much it occurs on Super Nintendo. The Sega game on the other hand, no slowdown. The game runs just much smoother. Must be that blast processing. Every other aspect of gameplay is identical, but one game has slowdown. While the other does not. And just one more thing. This really isn't a big deal, just something that annoys me. The first area of the game on Genesis has this blinking item. It's a measly 10 credits. Doesn't do anything, you don't need it, you can absolutely get to the next area without it. But, it's not in the Super Nintendo game. It's completely unnecessary, but since the Sega game has it, the Super Nintendo feels a little less complete. Even though they're practically identical, the slowdown really hurt your gameplay for running much smoother due to no slowdown. And one little extra thing, best gameplay goes to say good Genesis. Both games are practically identical, but one is better. And that game's flashback for the Sega Genesis. 
It has better graphics for having a more accurate main character and better frame rate for the cutscenes. It has better presentation for better text placement and not being censored. It has better sound with more sound effects and more songs. And it has better gameplay for not having slowdown. Super Nintendo games fine, you still get the flashback experience, but the Genesis version is much more polished. And when two games are the same, don't you want the one that looks and sounds better? The game that isn't censored and plagued with slowdown? It makes sense that the Genesis version feels more complete, since even though the game came out for Amiga first, it was originally designed for the Genesis and Mega Drive. It was ported to the Super Nintendo. Super Nintendo game's fine, but the Sega Genesis version's better. Best flashback goes to Sega Genesis. Well, that was fun. Why did we play that again? Oh, I totally just remembered why I was rushing to get here. It's the FBI! They're after you! Oh, okay. The FBI?! What do we do? I don't know, I don't know. Uh, find some place to hide! Good idea. I'll just call one of the characters that's been on the show. Surely one of them will help us? Sorry guys, I'm in the middle of an adventure. An adventure reading old stories about me! Man, I was good looking in the 90s. Oh jeez, I wish I could help, but I'm kind of busy. I'm in the middle of a movie, you know? Hey, won't give me no look. Well, of course you can hide here. Let me just text you my address. Oh, son of a please thing! Oh, don't shout at my hip! Yeah, guys, I like I would totally hide you, but but I can't. Fight club. Can't really talk about it, you know? What do you mean? You, you've never seen it? I hang out with guys in sewers who've seen it! I would help! <laughs> but I saw those texts you sent to Minnie, and you ought to be ashamed of yourself! Console Wars. I'm not answering that. Hey, my guys! <laughs> Listen, I'd love to, but, you know, I gotta free some dogs. <laughs> hey, get over here! Oh, that felt weird. Hey, come here, boy! Oh, you want to hide here from the FBI? Let me think. Nine, 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 nine. Well, I would help, but uh, I'm in the same house as you. Boy, you guys gotta lay off the boost. Also, your toilet's clogged. Was Eric here recently? Hide you from the FBI? I don't even know who this is. You listen to my unreleased songs? Piss on Heroes is your favorite? I knew those songs were good. I should have put them on Bad Hair Day. You still can't hide here. Hello? 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 Uh, Scorpion does not get good reception in the depths of hell. Darn it! We're all busy! Why don't we just call one of our friends? I'm sure one of them can help. Good idea. Oh, hey guys, what's up? Oh, dude, no, I'm sorry. I'm, um, I'm actually traveling soon, so I'm, I'm not gonna be around. I can't. Uh, Jersey. I'm going to Jersey. No, 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 not, not, not your Jersey, not, not New Jersey. I'm going to the, the, the old Jersey, you know, the, the British one. I'm going to, I'm going to England. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna, I'll be over there while you're dealing with this. So, like, as soon as you're, you're all done with this, then I will be back. It's just, I don't know what day you're done with it, but that same day is the day I get back. So, like, we can schedule something around that. Sounds good, right? All right, cool. Uh, don't be a stranger. Peace. Okay, okay, okay. Fine, you can hide here. But under one condition. You gotta start doing more consoles. Like the TurboGrafx-16. Do you know how many great games you could cover if you added the TurboGraph- Hello? Hello? You know what? Those guys smell anyways. You're really calling me for help? After everything that went down in New Jersey? After you said there was nothing to worry about? Yeah. Pass. Hard pass. Also, it's Deutsch, not Dutch. Thank you very much. Nobody makes me look like an idiot. Bro, I would love to help, believe me, but I um have to um finish up a book report. No, no, I'm just kidding, man. I gotta return a VHS movie, um, so yeah. What? No, I'm not quoting American Psycho. 
Uh, VHS is making a comeback here. Um, I gotta go. Later. Hmm. I wish I could help you guys, but unfortunately, there's no booze here, and I know that's kind of your thing. I'm sorry. Who? Hmm. <coughs> um. Can I reach out to Pam instead? Hmm. Um. Yeah, Pam's away on vacation, guys, but um, I'll text you her number. Okay, bye! You're not really gonna give them my number, are you? Oh god, no, of course not. I'm gonna text them Bath and Body Works. It's like, oh. your number instead. <laughs> Good, they could definitely use some candles and shower gel because they kind of smell. Yeah, seriously, they some stinky boys. Mm -hmm. y yo, guys. I, I would love to help, but I'm ridiculously hungover right now, and I don't know where the hell I am. And I'm pretty sure I lost Jim. No! Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, ooh, standing hurts. Yeah, I'm here. We should definitely go. Ooh, help oh, them. <laughs> Yo, I gotta go. I'm pretty sure he's gonna die. When did you eat Legos? Oh, oh, I gotta take this, guys. One, one, one second, one second. Console Wars, what's going on? Ooh. Uh, no, I don't think so, man. Um, well, I'm filming a, a major project. Uh, Will 2. Season two, yeah. No, it didn't get canceled. Listen, man, I gotta go, okay? I mean, I... Get in there, start dancing. Uh, I'm sorry, director, sir. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you guys can lie low here and we'll watch old home movies. Don't worry, we won't watch me playing any video games. I got a bunch of old home movies of me making bread. It's part of my new series that I'm working on called My Retro Bread. I make a pumpernickel that's to die for. Hello? Hello? Ooh, sorry guys. I'd love to help, but unfortunately I'm in the middle of a 24-hour Sonic stream. I'd invite you over, but, you know, you smell. I can't afford to have my house fumigated again. Oh, gotta go. Eggman's coming. All right, so we got a fluid side of the, dry the phone. Good lord. Free snuggles. I mean, hello? Oh, hey guys. Yeah, what, hold on, what? FBI? Here? Well, I mean, I mean, I got all these conventions coming up. Well, you can come with, no, you can't come with me. You know, it, it's, it, you just, well, you remember the cosplay, you know, Thala Siren, you're asking all the Luke Skywalkers to milk you. Kind of got you banned a little bit from the convention scene. A little creepy. All right, so, uh, sorry, can't do anything here, but uh, good luck. Yeah, hi, oh yeah, thank you, bye, I love you. You're awesome, you're wonderful, you're amazing. Everything up, all the above, good lord. Ooh. Ooh, boy, oh boy. <laughs> okay, okay. You gotta come down. You can't let them win. Well, well, well. If it isn't the almighty console wars calling little old Blabler for some help, well, guess what? You kept me waiting for months upon months, but you know what? I'll be the bigger man. It's just water on the bridge. In fact, there's not even a bridge anymore. It's all cool. So how about that I actually will tell you exactly what I want and maybe we can... Uh, hello? <laughs> And you want to hide here? I gotta say, no! Like, are you guys nuts? Like, it's the FBI, just turn yourselves in. Plus, you guys smell. Uh, well, thanks for calling, and have a great rest of your day. Unless you go to jail, of course. Hello? Console Wars? Never heard of it. What do you mean I was on the show for like six years? That doesn't sound right. Oh, Console Wars. Like that movie on CBS All Access. The one with the cool logo. H Hello? Hmm. They're all busy too! And they said that we smell bad. You! They said that you smell bad. Yeah, you! So what are we gonna do about the FBI? Well, I'm sure we have plenty of time to figure something out. 
Time's up, Council Wars. This is the FBI. Give yourselves up. We know you're in there. Oh, darn. Hold on. Maybe we can negotiate. Is there anything we could do to not get arrested? Where'd you get that? No. Uh, yes. Maybe. I'm kind of a fan. I do have one request. Okay, we can do that. I mean, we'll do anything. I mean, anything. Okay, then. How about finally comparing Mario and Sonic? Do that, or go to jail. This is not negotiable. Compare Mario and Sonic? How are we going to do that? I mean, people have been asking us to do that forever. I, I, I have no idea where we're going to start with. There's just so many games to compare. Do we include Mario All-Stars? Or do we just not... Just breathe. There's only one thing we can do here, man. You're right. We gotta do what we gotta do. And we're in jail. This is fine. This is a good ending. Like how Seinfeld ended. And people really like that. Yeah, people didn't feel like they got cheated at all. I'm just glad I got to see the Mario movie. Why are you so glad? Because the Sonic movies were definitely better. Ben Schwartz does a much better Sonic than Chris Pratt does Mario. Now at least the Mario movie's fully CGI. That's it! Are we doing this? Again? Is it sad that current consoles don't have human or anthropomorphic animals as mascots anymore? Yes. Best video game movie. Episode 100! We did it! Woo! Thanks for checking out our latest video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. This is it, episode 100. Can you believe we made 100 of these bad boys? Thank you so much to everyone for all your support over the years. Thanks to everyone who helped us celebrate this milestone. We really appreciate it. And you can also support us on Patreon for bonus content, early releases, and the Discord. And check out our live channel, Console Wars Live. And be sure to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook for more Console Wars goodness. Later! 100 episodes! I have no idea. This is so weird. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> Who pooped in these pants? <laughs>